Hello, God bless you. My name is Stephen. I'm the pastor of Graffiti Fellowship in Brooklyn, New York, and it's time for today's daily devotion. This is where we take a chapter from the Bible and read it together. Each day, we post these videos five days a week. You can access them, of course, at any time. And today, we are reading... Uh, we're in the Gospel of Luke, and today we're reading Luke chapter 17. We are well into the last half of uh, Luke's Gospel. You may see my doggie in the background. Uh, Luke chapter 17 is about average length, 37 verses. And here we have teachings about forgiveness and faith. We have 10 people healed of leprosy, the coming of the kingdom. And that coming of the kingdom subsection is about a little more than half the chapter, uh, right at half the chapter. Luke 17, chapter 1 says this, beginning in verse 1, One day Jesus said to his disciples, there will always be temptations to sin, but what sorrow awaits the person who does the tempting? It would be better to be thrown into the sea with a millstone hung around your neck than to cause one of these little ones to fall into sin. So watch yourselves. A millstone is a really, really big, heavy stone that was used in the grinding of grain. If another believer sins, rebuke that person. Then if there is repentance, forgive. Even if that person wrongs you seven times a day and each time turns again to ask for forgiveness, you must forgive. The apostle said to the Lord, show us how to increase our faith. And the Lord answered, if you had faith even as small as a mustard seed, you could say to this mulberry tree, may you be uprooted and thrown into the sea and it would obey you. When a servant comes in from plowing or taking care of sheep, does his master say, come in and eat with me? No, he says, prepare my meal, put on your apron, and serve me while I eat. Then you can eat later. And does the master thank the servant for doing what he was told to do? Of course not. In the same way, when you obey me, you should say, we are unworthy servants who have simply done our duty. As Jesus continued on toward Jerusalem, he reached the border between Galilee and Samaria. As he entered a village there, ten lepers stood at a distance, crying out, Jesus, Master, have mercy on us. Now, lepers were, uh, they are, there are still lepers today. They are people afflicted with a, a, a very serious condition called leprosy. And it was highly contagious, and they were and, and there was really no known cure. Uh, and so lepers, people who had leprosy, were forced to be isolated from everyone else. He looked at them and said, Go show yourselves to the priests. And as they went, they were cleansed of their leprosy. One of them, when he saw that he was healed, came back to Jesus shouting, Praise God. He fell to the ground at Jesus' feet, thanking him for what he had done. This man was a Samaritan. Jesus asked, didn't I heal ten men? Where are the other nine? Has no one returned to give glory to God except this foreigner? And Jesus said to the man, stand up and go. Your faith has healed you. Verse 20 begins the subsection on the coming of the kingdom. One day the Pharisees asked Jesus, when will the kingdom of God come? Jesus replied, the kingdom of God can't be detected by visible signs. You won't be able to say, here it is, or it's over there, for the kingdom of God is already among you. Then he said to his disciples, the time is coming when you will long to see the day when the Son of Man returns, but you won't see it. People will tell you, look, there's the Son of Man, or here he is. But don't go out and follow them, for as lightning flashes and lights up the sky from one end to the other, so it will be on the day when the Son of Man comes. But first, the Son of Man must suffer terribly and be rejected by this generation. When the Son of Man returns, it'll be like it was in Noah's day. In those days, the people enjoyed banquets and parties and weddings right up to the time Noah entered his boat and the flood came and destroyed them all. And the world will be as it was in the days of Lot. People went about their daily business, eating and drinking, buying and selling, farming and building, until the morning Lot left Sodom. 
Then fire and burning sulfur rained down from heaven and destroyed them all. Yes, it will be business as usual right up to the day when the Son of Man is revealed. On that day, a person out on the deck of a roof must not go down into the house to pack. A person out in the field must not return home. Remember what happened to Lot's wife. If you cling to your life, you will lose it. And if you let your life go, you will save it. That night, two people will be asleep in one bed. One will be taken, the other left. Two women will be grinding flour together at the mill. One will be taken, the other left. Where will this happen, Lord, the disciples asked. And Jesus replied, Just as a gathering of vultures shows there's a carcass nearby, so these signs indicate that the end is near. That's the end of Luke chapter 17. Thanks so much for participating in this daily devotion. Hope it's blessed you to include a little bit of God's Word in your day. Uh, I hope you'll continue to join us, and I uh, hope you join us next time as we read together Luke chapter 18. If you've missed any of these videos, they're all organized in a playlist by book. Um, so far, as of the recording of this video, we have the entire uh, Gospel of Matthew and the entire Gospel of Mark and all the preceding chapters of uh, the Gospel of Luke. And we're going to keep going. So over time, if you access this video sometime uh, in the future, there may well be a number of other playlists on this channel that have a number of other biblical books. So definitely look for those, avail yourself to those. Um, it's just a tool meant to help us include a little bit of God's Word in our day. God bless you.